Hey guys. So we're here, 70 pounds. That sounds like a lot to me. To me, I'm just like, okay, that's kind of crazy. I have been here before, but I have not been here in a long time. And let's get into it. But before I totally get into it, I want to talk about my stats. So I'm currently 315 Point two, I'm sorry, 0.4 pounds. I have a 39 inch waist. My abdomen is the same. It's 43.5. That's the part where the pants go. And I'm 43.9% body fat. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, I just want to say this 10 pound segment was easier than the last one. It was still difficult physically, but it was much easier mentally. In July, I was really struggling with my mental health and the serotonin in my brain and all this stuff. It was crazy. And now, sorry, I'm sweating. It's really, really hot in here. It's crazy hot here. So in August, my mental health improved. So after I made that video where my depression broke, I have just steadily gotten better. So my energy levels have been up. I've been less depressed throughout August. I've been doing better in that sense. Um, the really sort of challenging part of this month is I had a lot of physical symptoms and physical side effects of the weight loss and of still very, very intense burn off as it is still incredibly hot and summer and all this stuff in Alabama. So it has been difficult, but still easier. I would say that this segment of weight, it was pretty much the same as things have been. So I, I still very much have that Things blow up and then things come down. Things blow up and then things come down. But my weight loss has been very consistent. So I've been pretty pleased when it comes to that. Um, so let's get into some of the benefits I've had and some of the side effects I've had. So first and foremost, I don't think I have sleep apnea at all anymore. Um, I struggled a lot with sleep apnea, particularly in 2021 and a bit in 2022. It was tough. I had to have this, you know, whole tower of pillows. I still sleep on those pillows now just to be safe. But I, I used to wake up and have apnea and everything if I just rolled off of it and I don't really wake up anymore. So I think I'm okay. You know, it's one of those things where it just kind of goes away and you don't really realize it until you just think about it and you're like, okay, that's gone. The other thing that I've noticed is I have a lot less of my dizzy spells. I still have some and I do, I have been having less of that shortness of breath lately. So I still had it quite a bit throughout this month, but in the past week or so it has been less. Um, the other thing is my vertigo started to go away. So I don't know if I told you guys, but I have positional vertigo, which apparently it actually does happen with weight loss, which is insane to me. But I have struggled with that. Um, that did happen to me when I was keto as well. So a lot of this is just weight loss related stuff. Um, but that did definitely get better in August. It got better this month. The the thing that I think matters the most is just that I have more energy. Even within a deficit, I still have energy to work and go and move and do things. And it's been really, really good. It's kind of mind blowing because I have been quite ill this past month. Um, but to just have that energy and still be able to keep moving and keep working and keep going to the gym and just being able to keep everything up, doing really, really well with adherence, 
that's kind of unprecedented. So I'm very, very like thankful for that. And especially lately having that mental health effect kind of break or like even improve as time has gone on. That is really, really like, I am just very thankful for my mental health. I think at this point, I'm just like, thank God that recovered because it was really, really hard. And even though I'm still struggling with a lot of physical effects of the obesity and all this stuff, like I still have, um, me and my mom call it Parmesan pits, <laughs> which I've had that since I started getting very serotonin -y and stuff. And that's kind of like what it sounds like. Your armpits kind of smell like Parmesan cheese. Um, so I still have that. I still have my rash on my armpits and stuff. It was really raging this month. It's still there. Um, and I think it might just be something to do with the weight loss, you know, because I, I really started getting it when I started having more burn off, you know, when I started actually burning more fat which is really back in February even. So I think right now, I'm trying to think of the other benefits I have. I, I don't have, I hardly ever have diarrhea now. I do have it occasionally, but it's really like once a month. I used to have it almost daily. Um, I will get it like if I have juice or something, but that's typical. But I used to get it like all the time. You know, like in 2021, I had it all the time. It was horrible. Um, I hardly ever have it now. I hardly ever get migraines now. I get them about once a month. I used to have them once a week or sometimes even more often. Like particularly winter of 2022, I was getting migraines a lot. And so I do have one today, which is probably why I have a better way in because I tend, you tend to lose um, a lot of bloat before a migraine. And so that's probably why I'm weighing in today. But that is something that has greatly improved throughout this time is I don't have that as much. So now let's get into the health effects I've had. My serotonin -ness, I don't know what to call it, but when my serotonin is really flowing, I guess, and I can really feel it, like I get flushed, I have some weird sensations like in this hand and I feel really like on edge and even have restless legs sometimes. That has really been flagrant throughout this time. So back in like April, I used to get serotonin -y, as I call it. I have my beautiful terminology, estrogen -y, serotonin -y. I used to get serotonin -y like the day after the gym. Over August, it became just constant. So now I'm just kind of always that way. I actually feel less like it today. So this is like the first day I haven't, but I'm pretty sure it will be back. But I think for me, I don't care so much about having those feelings if my mental health is okay. Like I think mentally and brain wise, it's recovered past that super serotonin point in July. It was really hard for me at that time. I had no confidence. I was extremely exhausted. I was extremely, extremely depressed during July that's all made a complete 180. So that aspect is really big. Um, and then really just like, I feel like more reasonable. Um, I don't really like super reactive things or reactive content. I don't like hearing people do long emotional rants. I feel like my testosterone has definitely gone up this month. I feel like I think much more typically male now than I did, um, which is really weird to say. It's a very weird experience, but it's not bad or anything. I don't really care. But I definitely do feel a lot more like my brain is very male. Um, so that's something I've noticed a lot in August where it's like I don't... I don't quite relate to women as well as I used to. I still relate probably better than, you know, 95% of men, but I don't relate as much as I did. Like, I don't understand the Barbie craze at all. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't. I don't get it at all. 
Um, like, not even a little bit. But I think I've noticed, too, like, just in general, my brain is different. Like, I think about things really differently. Um, I think with my serotonin shifting in my brain, it's like I don't, I can't quite relate as well to this sort of, like, hero worship aspect in society. I, I wonder if they're connect, like, if that hormone is connected. But I just don't feel like I relate to it. So I feel like as I'm getting out of the hypo haze, I am really coming away from a lot of people, especially like Gen Z. I think, no offense, Gen Zs, but I think Gen Z is like extremely hypo as a generation. And so it's like I'm getting further away from it. And it's really bizarre. It's a very weird experience. So I think my brain is really kind of going back to its default settings in a way, or it's coming back to like my core, like what I was meant to be. And it's difficult for me to figure out just because like, I realized too, like when you're gay, the gender roles, they don't quite work. Like you don't really fit into one or the other. Like it's much more of an amalgamation of things which is, I think, why gay relationships are really difficult because you just don't. And so I've kind of come to terms with that this month as well. Like, I'm just kind of really coming back to reality. Like, I would say hypohaze is totally gone at this point. I've seen a lot of things for how they are. Sometimes I do tend to see things a little darker. Um, a lot of my friends and stuff are like, you're so negative, blah, blah. But I think it's just, I'm really, like I said, I'm more in that masculine brain mindset, probably because of the testosterone and stuff, and I just kind of see through the BS really clearly and really quickly. And um, so that's been, been very interesting this month. Not a bad thing at all. I think it's fine. Um, I don't have any issue with it at all. I, I don't... I don't trip about things as much as I used to. Like, I feel like I used to have a lot of anxiety about, like, who I was or what I think or what I believe or what this or what that. Like, I don't really feel that way at all anymore. I, I think I've reached a place of, like, like I said, it's just more solid. I don't know how to explain it. I'm very solid mentally, identity-wise, etc. So I'm kind of just figuring out things. Um, I do feel a lot less emotional. That's something I want to say, which I think is interesting. Um, a lot less emotional than I did. And that's a weird thing. So it's been really interesting. I don't think it's a bad thing because like, I was really depressed and miserable. I think it's actually a good thing. But I feel like certain emotions of mine are more muted than they were prior. And um, lastly, I don't know if this is lastly, but the next thing I need to talk about is I had carpal tunnel. It was horrible. So this past week I had like hellacious swelling, particularly in my neck, wrists, and ankles, and it caused nerve symptoms. And I had really horrible carpal tunnel in both hands. And that was crazy and really annoying. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but it's extremely annoying. And like, I couldn't even knit. I, I literally could not knit. And I still went to the gym with it and everything. I still just pushed through. I was like, bitch, whatever. Cause I knew it was swelling. And so it's like, this is just whatever. And really, I just have to keep losing. Um. But it's still tough, so I'm still super morbidly obese. I'm looking forward to the end of that, though. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's within sight. Once I get below 40% body fat, then I'm just morbidly obese. I'm getting close. It's 43.9, baby. So I'm really just trying to keep on my momentum, keep going. It's very tough. Um, I still have struggled with dynamics with people. And I'm trying to kind of still reorient myself relationship-wise with people. It's not like terrible or anything. It's just really having to readjust and redo things. 
And so that's been tough. And that does include with you guys as my audience. So I'm not really sure completely of where I'm going, but I feel like I'm kind of getting it together in general. So I don't know. I think it's pretty good, honestly. I think being more emotionally stable is definitely a good thing for someone like me. Um, I think being cleaner, that's another thing. I'm much cleaner now. So I'm very, I'm much more organized. My room is clean much more often. The dishes are done, you know, like this type of stuff. Like it's a lot easier for me to keep clean. So definitely a lot of brain rewiring and brain changes. Um, all serotonin related, which some of them are nice, you know, like having a clean house, like I have a very strong sense of disgust. So if something is messy, it really bothers me a lot. Whereas it didn't before, like when I was in the hypo haze, I could just live, I could be a slob and it like didn't bother me. So that's like a major change that's occurred during this time. It was already occurring, but this month is really when I had the energy to actually implement and actually keep things cleaner. So yeah, I think overall definitely much healthier. Definitely still more mental effects that are healthier, but definitely I am still losing. This set point, this plateau, this this, this that, like, mm, you know, I'm not seeing it and I'm doing great despite all of my weight loss symptoms and different things that do suck about weight loss in general, I'm still able to do it, you know, with the mental changes, the organizationalness in my brain and stuff. It's very, it's a lot easier for me to, to maintain this deficit and I'm not as hungry. I don't, I, ju I just, I'm not, I'm not as hungry as I used to be. So I think it's major healing occurring I think it's just still in the process and I'm still figuring it out. I hope that carpal tunnel thing doesn't happen again. That was really disgusting, but knowing my luck, it probably will. Um, but I'm looking forward to the fall and for what's ahead. Like I'm kind of interested to see how I will do when the seasons change and all this stuff. And I actually do have a bit of optimism, even though things are still tough. You know, like I'm still very physically ill. Um, like right now I have a migraine, you know, it's like, I, I'm always going through something, but that's just kind of being super morbidly obese. You're just kind of always going through something. And so I look forward to being able to make the video where I tell you guys I'm not, you know, and maybe it'll happen soon, you know, um, lastly, this is actually lastly, I just want to touch on the fact that I haven't been 315 since 2014. And this was like where I was back then, where I could lose the weight, like being paleo and eating carbs and this type of stuff. And I was able to get down to this weight. After 2014, I was never able to do that again. And the only other times I was able to get lower was when I was keto. And so it's really like a huge sign that my metabolism has healed that I can eat carbs and get down to this weight again. So I would say there's a lot of intense healing. It's very hard, but my metabolism is quite obviously improving and getting better because I am able to do what I could not do after 2014. I'm there. If I get to around 290, that will be the lowest I got on keto. And at that point, I can make a whole rant about how this diet has defeated keto. But for now, we're not there. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support and your understanding. I have been very ill. That's why I haven't posted as much. But thank you guys so much. Um, I'm still continuing on. I think it's really important to keep the work going and to keep things moving. But thank you guys so much. I will talk to you guys again very soon. I'm sure I'll be filming soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.